TLDR Halo Combat Evolved. Open to a military spaceship. Mankind is at war with aliens called the Covenant. The Covenant are doing some breaking and entering, so a bioweapon has been awakened deep in the bowels of the ship. You play as this bioweapon. Master Chief, a seven foot tall super soldier who needs to go through tedious viewing tutorials while half the crew dies. Female Master Chief is dead, but no one talks about that. Master Chief fights through bland, unintuitive corridors of the spaceship for about 10 minutes and then jumps in a life pod to crash land on a giant space ring. The super-saturated not-Earth space ring with pristine flowing water and luscious green foliage doesn't have a landscaping team, but does have a bunch of space bastards with laser guns. Chief fights them around 15 times, then gets his pretty sweet sniper rifle to do a night raid on the tractor beam, so we can bring the fight to the space bastard, I mean the Covenant. Piss off, ghost! Remember the opening level of Unintuitive Corridors? Well, here's more of that, but purple this time, because the Covenant love purple. Chief saves the captain. Beep boop, let's go to the beach. Have a quick little drive with arguably the best vehicle for any game ever. Then Chief takes a few of the least proficient marksmen in the service for a drive. Meanwhile, you play with one hand while you smash Doritos in your mouth and wash it down with Mountain Dew. I mean, at this point, it's clear that Dorito Fingers over here is exactly the kind of person this game was made for. Uh-oh, dum-dum, some jerk-off locked you out of the pantry. Mommy isn't here to open it for you. Drive around the block, unlock the pantry, then bunker dive. The same corridors, fighting the same covenant to get to... A one-sided conversation with your imaginary girlfriend and a whole lot of backtracking again. Then Chief gets to play in the snow with a tank on his way to another bunker, where your imaginary girlfriend has a schizophrenic episode. Oh sweet, a forest level. Nope, just back to more bunker diving. PTSD guy hates it here too. I don't blame him. Chief watches some really boring home movies where you see why humans are losing the war. Intro Halo's version of zombies, The Flood. You son of a bitch, I'm in. Recycle the same level, but in reverse with Flood. And for that reason, I'm out. Then you get monologued at by this pretentious prick robot. The ring is, I don't know, an apocalypse weapon, but I'm so bored I'm checking messages on my phone. Prepare for us to log through Flood while the robot prick talks to itself. I want to shoot him and nuke this ring from orbit. I'm pretty sure the snow in this game is actually asbestos. Oh boy, more purple maze. Oh look, the captain has turned into a low polygon booger and Chief picks his nose. Then backtrack through the same tedious purple maze again, and we fly away. Time to go back to the boring human ship, and this time with Flood and Covenant again. Is it fair to say this game has 13 levels when it feels like 5? Robot monologues some more. Check out this quality early 2000s animation. And off we go to throw grenades into intake valves to blow up the space ring. Is this game over yet? Hey, so how about a taste of the worst Sonic the Hedgehog level ever? Thank God it's over. Negative, negative. We have a wildcat destabilization. Have some closing words about sequels. Take your helmet off and just. What a magical adventure.